Almost every volleyball player will face in his volleyball career knee problems, sometimes even knee injury. How to prevent them? What you should do to keep your knees in a good condition? I will give you 5 tips which will help you to keep your knees healthy. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. You can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. We all know knee pain. We often face it in volleyball. Sometimes our knee hurts and we have problems with our jumping knee. Sometimes we feel pain on the sides. We can also feel the instability of the knee or bruise the knees when playing in the defense. But if we want to play volleyball, play for many years, we need to have healthy knees. And that's why I have a few simple tips for you to help protect your knees so that the knee pain doesn't slow you down in your volleyball performance. We often jump in volleyball, we try to jump as high as possible. Then we fall down and uh, often the impact to the ground can cause the pain in your knee. Learn not to fall on outstretched legs, uh, it's always important to fall with your knees slightly bent. Thanks to this you better reduce the impact, you better absorb energy from the impact and protect your knees. It's also better to fall on both feet at the same time. Like this you will distribute the energy from the impact on both feet. When landing, try to land in a good angle with the hips, knees and foot in line. Don't let your knees rotate when landing on the ground. Every volleyball player should not only focus on the training itself, but also on preparing his body for training. I made a video on how to take care of your shoulders, how to preventively work on them. You also need to take care of your knees, uh, do preventive exercises, prepare them for jumping and quick movements. Personally, the leg extension and leg curl work best for me. 4 sets, 10 repetitions twice per week is enough for these exercises. I've been doing them all my active career and even now I'm still doing them and I don't know what is pain in my knees. Thanks to these two exercises you will strengthen the muscles around the knee, the quadriceps and hamstring. Uh, you will build kind of an emergency break that the energy from the impacts quick start will be captured in these muscles rather than being transferred to the joints and ligaments. Stretching is another advice to keep in mind. The best time to stretch is before and after training or a match when your muscles are really warm. You don't have to spend half an hour stretching before training or a match. You don't have to be in each position for a half a minute. All you need is a shorter dynamic warm up before training. On the other hand, you should always stretch the largest muscle groups and joint that we use in volleyball. For example, stretching the biceps is not very important, but uh, don't miss the ankles, calves, uh, knees, tights, hips, back and shoulders when stretching. If you have cold muscles and knees, you aren't warm up and you start immediately jumping and making quick movements uh, without stretching, you significantly increase the risk of a problem with the knees, but also with uh, other parts of the body. After training or a match, uh, spend more time with stretching. Now you can lie down in any position, breathe out. In any case, uh, stretching should become a regular routine and part of your training. That's also why, for example, in Italy there are far more older volleyball players at the highest level than in Russia. Italians are more used uh, to do stretching to take care of themselves. When I played there, stretching 45 minutes after training or a match was no exception. You had a hard training or a match, uh, your legs are tired after jumping, ice up your knees or jump uh, in the ice shower for a while. You can ice your knees with the help of classic ice bags for a maximum of 15 minutes uh, in the shower, alternate cold water with warm water. Icing and cooling is an important part of uh, preventing and protecting uh, your knees. If you have pain in your knees for several days or uh, for a longer time, keep an eye on them outside of your training or at home. Apply ice bags uh, to them twice or three times a day. We fall in volleyball, we play selflessly in defense. During these actions in the field, we can rub our knees, burn them on the floor. In winter, it's cold in some holes and the knees should be warm during the trainings. Or we play several matches in a tournament and your knees has to reach the operating match temperature several times during the day. For all these cases, it's good to use knee pads. They will help you prevent injuries, keep your knees warm and you won't be afraid to jump in the defense for possible decisive ball in the match. So these are 5 simple advice how to take care of your knees to prevent injuries and keep your knees in a good condition. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.